Flamey's kick from Navi is one of the saddest stories in CSGO esports. He was a very talented player who at some point started to perform worse and worse every month. And before finally benching him, Navi spent at least half a year in an attempt to help Igor to come back to his previous performance. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe because you are watching Cybershoke. And today, we'll tell you how, and most importantly why, Flamey was kicked from Navi. The first ambiguous year for Flamey was 2019. On the one hand, he still played okay, but on the other hand, red flags started to pop up. For example, it was the first year for Navi when Flamey didn't even come close to HLTV's top 20 players of the year, and also his overall rating for 2019 was 1.05, the worst result for Flamey at that moment. But that was just the small stuff in comparison with what awaited us in 2020. With the whole pandemic drama starting, all CSGO tournaments switched to online, and Flamey's rating dropped to 0.97. Considering that his role assumed a lot of frags, it's honestly a bad number. Igor started to play very unstably, and Richard Lewis said that a couple of years ago, he was the main competitor for Simple, but now he shows us the worst performance of his whole career. Senya, who played in Navi's legendary roster in 1.6, said that Edward could easily replace Flamey now. Navi tried their best to help Igor, they hired a psychologist and gave him more time to rest, but it was to no avail. At the start of 2021, the team took more drastic action. They freed Flamey from playing on Inferno so he would feel less pressure on himself. But the outcome turned out to be the opposite. By seeing how Navi preferred to play with Bit, Igor tilted even more. We are sure that Bit's addition to Inferno wasn't just an attempt to slowly kick Flamey. At the start, they sincerely wanted to help him. Even Don Hatchie, whose insides are usually correct, stated that Navi will stop playing with Bit after online era. Innershine, FaZe Clan's analyst, expressed an interesting opinion on this topic. He said that Flamey, as a player, desperately needed an experienced captain with lots of mid-round calls, and Boomich just couldn't do it. Kirill gave freedom to his players, and Flamey got lost in it. As a result, he started this foolish competition with Bit in his mind. And tilted a lot from seeing a young player from the academy roster outperforming him. But still, this is just an opinion, though very interesting. In March of 2021, Bit replaced Flamey on two more maps, Mirage and Overpass. And soon after that, Valera became the best player in the world by headshots per round. From that time, he deservedly was called the second Scream. In April, Navi faced a tough decision. Valve released an updated RMR rules where the teams took huge fines for replacing their players with substitutes. It was impossible to play with both Flamey and Bit in Valve's tournaments. Navi had to choose one player, and they stopped on Bit. So technically, at that moment, Flamey was still their sixth player, but practically, the team decided to play the major qualifiers with Bit, so it was clear that Igor was now benched. Flamey was sitting on the bench until September. He was an experienced player who still could play at the Tier 2 level, so it's not surprising that many teams expressed an interest in him. He got a lot of invites, but somehow none of them resulted in Flamey being in a new roster. Eventually, he started playing for Navi Jr., but didn't stay there for long. After Navi, he joined the team called One Win, which was honestly a big downgrade. They barely managed to be in the top 50, and as many analysts suggested, they didn't really improve in terms of rating after Flamey's arrival. But it's worth mentioning that in time, One Win raised to the Tier 2 level. Now they have a lot of invites to the tournaments while being ranked number 28 by HLTV. It's not Navi, but that's definitely something. A few days ago, we released the story of Flamey. Be sure to watch that video too. 